I would like we mark these cut out logs yes. which have been destroyed. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a good idea so that uh, now we are new in the forest. Mm -hmm. We want exactly to to capture what is there, mm -hmm. how we have gotten the forest, mm -hmm. so that uh, at every month we can be able to do evaluation mm -hmm. to see whether the the trees are still being cut or not, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So that is a brilliant idea. Mm -hmm. It's uh, being able to uh, for monitoring and evaluation is very, 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 very important. Yeah. So. I think now you can start marking. Mm -hmm. You can put, and we are using green because our color is green. Yeah. So just mark it there. Uh -huh. I think we are going to use X. Yes. Yeah. Yes. To we me. use X. Yeah. Yes. And also this one, the, uh -huh. the, um, those uh, those guys who are doing this illegal activity, mm -hmm. we will now know there are people watching over them. Isn't yeah. It? Yeah. 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 Because mm -hmm. it's wrong. Yeah, it is wrong. It yeah, is wrong. Yeah, yeah. It is wrong. There is no problem in marking trees. Yeah. Uh, but at least now we know that uh, we have this many. Uh -huh. Nobody wants. Kira mutu anta kujua ngobezake ningapi. I'm very very happy to meet the scouts here. Uh, I know all of them except him by his name. This Sebastian, a very very committed person. I know Sebastian is the one who brought us to this side of the forest the first time. And my friend Stephen Bogu. Stephen Bogu. I spoke with you, I think, on the phone. Uh, ah, this is the famous uh, 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 Pata, uh, Sparta priest yes. <laughs> <laughs> by, by the name of the FB. Mm -hmm. He's Stephen Kinyanji. And of course, our, our main man there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm very happy, guys. Yeah. First, mm -hmm. I want to congratulate you for a well, well done job. Thank you. You guys, you are doing a commendable job. Mm -hmm. When we look at what you are doing around, and by pure of volunteering, mm -hmm. you are not paid by anybody, and you have been, for the last uh, three months, mm -hmm. you have been keeping uh, this part of the forest. Uh, you have been looking at and keeping it safe. As I was walking around here, this, this part which was, uh, sometimes before was very, very much uh, affected by the loggers. I yeah. can see now only old stumps, yeah. and no new tree has been cut, the far we have gone. Yeah. And also I've seen a lot, uh, not so much of uh, garbage dumping, mm -hmm. only a bit part at the beginning, yeah. and that one I know we will solve that problem. Mm -hmm. And so you can, we can see the progress and we can see there is a future in what we are doing. Mm -hmm. I've been able to talk to friends, yeah. and friends of our CFA, and there is one group uh, of rider, of bikers, about a hundred of them, who you usually see passing through the forest. Yeah. And I got contacts through them and uh, to one Mr. Angus. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we talked, he asked me, how can I help? The first thing I told him, we needed equipment. Mm -hmm. And so now we have proper good equipment. You will see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have gloves, Bravo. we have uh, rakes, we have wheelbarrows. Uh, those that they are calling the 16th century invention. Yeah. These are the ones that has, are going to change the face of of all our forest. forest. We have realized that now we need to formalize our scouting program. And uh, we, we visited the HOC some mm -hmm. few days ago. We had written a letter, we had gone further we, uh, to us, and you know I had sent you the copy of the program yeah. and as well as the cost. Because we had asked ourselves, why should we pay KFS to train scouts that are helping mm -hmm. to protect the forest? Yeah. So KFS has agreed. Uh, in principle that it is their duty uh, to train to protect the forest and now that we are going to help them they are going to look at a way of training us uh, at no cost of course the cost will be theirs mm -hmm. because they are the main beneficiaries of this forest isn't it yeah the forest is ours but we have not been uh, involved because we had gotten no chance mm -hmm. now we have the chance uh, through the cfa and through the formation of the of the scouts user group now we have to formalize it, we have to uh, create uh, uh, the system very properly, the structures, I mean, create the structures properly. And, uh, we know that this is the group which is in Gataka and Olkeri, uh, this is the supervisor, and this is the second in command, there is a commander, there is this, this. These are the structures we have been uh, allowed to do and given to do it in the next 14 days. One of the other issues to us is Okay, KFS will train you. How do CFA 
sustain and maintain this program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because for sure now you have been volunteering for quite a long time. Yes. We do not want to see uh, uh, further, of course for now we continue, but we don't want to see from January you volunteering now again. We want, even at Munakuja Mstuni when you come to the forest, at the end of the day, yeah. you have something in the pocket to take home to your, to your children or to your family. Mm -hmm. Because we, have, we are seeing now that we need to formalize, we want to know who, who went to patrol in the forest between 5 and, and midday. Mm -hmm. And you see that is work. Yeah. One of the programs that will make, will, will bring us or generate us revenue to be able to pay scouting and other administrative uh, costs, mm -hmm. it is through ecotourism. Yeah. And ecotourism is through these, uh, these trails. Mm -hmm. We want to develop these trails much so that people have it easier going like the, where the branch was and you told us you, you took the upper one. Yeah. We want you to tell us I am at the branch of A and B. Mm -hmm. So then I tell you I'm on the trail A. So it is easier <coughs> for anybody to come to the forest. We have also gone a little bit and saw some of the areas that probably we can even make uh, places where people can come picnicking, mm -hmm. have wedding parties, have birthday parties within the forest. Those are the areas. We develop those things as, um, as uh, an activity that will bring in money. If somebody comes at the, at the gate there, we'll ask them, where do you want to go? Oh, you want to walk alongside just hiking? You say, okay, you can take trail A or trail 1, and this is your guide to take you through the trail 1 up to where you feel like it's fine. And then everybody can pay 100 bob. Uh, into a pay bill number, we have still not agreed, but we want the pay bill number to be there. Even on putting up uh, an activity center, we are also talking about with investors. We have found even one where we can have one activity center where we have archery, where we have climbing walls, where we have uh, uh, what else? We have paintballs, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, we have uh, biking as well, even extreme. Uh, all those activities are meant to, uh, to bring some revenue to sustain the CFA and its operation. So that's where we are right now. So that we don't want to start a program mm -hmm. and then midway or even before we start, mm -hmm. the program collapses and we start having complaints. We want to start properly, but for now we have been allowed, what I've said, we have been allowed now to constitute properly the structures of our scouts. And these are men cred credible, people who are not, uh, you know, not with questionable characters. Not people, we don't want, we want people like you, you have been in the forest for three months without a pay and you did not pay yourself by cutting a tree and selling it. No, you don't want somebody who comes in the forest and says, hey, sasa mimi sijaripu wa mwezi moja, wacha nitikate muhugo nikauze miatano. Hapana, tunataka watu wabaye wako kwa msitu, kwanza, kwa sababu, wanaupenda. Wanapenda mambo ya uhifadhi na wana mazingira kila kitu. Tunataka mtu wakati akitembea hivi, akiona mahali mbaya. Akirudi kesho na kuja na kagunia, anaokota hiyo takataka wanaondoa. Kwa sababu anajua ni jukumu lake, siyo lazima iwe jukumu letu. Uh -huh. eh? Ni kweli? Ni kweli. Eh?